Uh, good morning, uh, St Hills family. Uh, Adam and Nat here just to uh, bring you some news. Uh, and uh, it's kind of bittersweet news today, but I'm here to share that um, uh, Natalie will be finishing her role here at St Hills. And she has been, uh, she's going to take up a new role uh, as an Associate Minister at St Jude's uh, in the new year. And um, yeah, we wanted to share that with you this morning. Yeah, thanks, Adam. Uh, as you said, it is a bit of sweet news and maybe especially this weekend, we're finally back at church in person after <laughs> so long and it's so lovely and exciting to see everyone. So I feel like this is really hard timing and I feel really sad to be saying goodbye to St Hills over the coming weeks, but also really thankful for a new opportunity that God has opened up and I feel kind of convinced that this is his direction for me and for us over the next season. So this isn't a decision that we've taken lightly. As I've been praying over this, I've been so thankful for our time at St Hills over the last six years. First at Northbourne and then at Kew, you have really been our home and our family, our spiritual home and family. And we're so thankful to all of you. We're thankful for the way that you've loved us and taken us into your hearts and all three of us will really miss you. At the same time, uh, we do feel like this is God's direction for our lives. And I'm thankful for all that I've learned here at St Hills. Thankful for your, for your partnership in the gospel. Thankful for your patience with me over these last six years. But as I said, we feel like this is God's direction for us in the next season. Adam, you actually said something really helpful when we were talking about this, which was, that you believe that ministers are called to a kingdom ministry. And so I guess that means we do need to move when God prompts us. And I guess that's what this is for us. So I feel so thankful to have been in this St Hilary's corner of God's kingdom mm -hmm. over the last six years and really, really sad to be leaving, but also I guess leaving with hope uh, for what God has in store for us at St Jude's in the future, but also what God has in store for St Hills mm. over the next years as well. So that's our news. Uh, it is really bittersweet, and I would love to catch up with any of you who would like to over the next four weeks. So please get in touch, send me a text, phone, send me an email, and maybe we can have a walk or a coffee or something like that. Our final Sunday at St Hills will be Sunday the 5th of December. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Nat. I want to thank you for helping me get integrated and settled into St. Hilary's, even though we, you know, we're just getting back <laughs> in person <laughs> yeah. again. And I think it's so true, actually, you know, like I think we uh, in the church, we're always really excited when, um, you know, someone, you know, a real quality minister like Nat comes and joins our team and is part of our church. And then we're, we're kind of a little bit sad when they leave. But actually, it's all God's church. And I think this is really exciting for this, you know, we've had a, a good relationship over the years with, with St. Jude's and this is just part mm -hmm. of, um, um, you know, part of us being able to release Nat into something really good moving forward where God's calling her. Now, I also want to let you know that um, we're planning a function. So there's going to be an opportunity to come together and, and thank Nat properly. There'll be a time for that. Um, we'll also be planning a gift for Nat, which you can contribute to if you like. So there's, there are a lot of things coming up that will be able to really mark this event and thank Nat for all that ministry that she's done with the Peter Corney Training Centre and at North Baldwin and here. And of course, she's known and loved throughout the network. So we're looking forward to being able to send you off well, Nat, mm. and have a good break before you yeah, <laughs> start in your exactly. new role. Yeah, yeah. And of course, there'll be details in the weeks ahead about um, how we transition uh, Nat's ministry to, to mm. other uh, staff and, and, and God willing new staff as well. Mm. So I'm going to pray for Nat and, uh, and I'm going to invite Nat to pray for St Hills as well. Mm. So yeah. let's pray. Uh, gracious God, thank you for Natalie and thank you for um, uh, Brian and Toby and the, and the role that they've, they've all had here at St Hills. Uh, we know that we have um, come under Nat's leadership for a, a long period of time and um, we're just grateful for the way that she's pastored well, the way that she's taught us, the way that she's led us uh, and all the, uh, the special uh, individual memories that, that people here will, will be able to um, remember and, and share at this time. And so, Father, as you open up this new pathway uh, for Natalie and the Rosner family, um, I pray that you would go ahead of them, that you would be really um, preparing that place for them, um, that spiritual, that new spiritual home, that they would have a great sense of, uh, of place and purpose as they go uh, to St Jude's, 
I pray that it'd be a, that'd be a really uh, warm congregation ready to welcome them and that they would very quickly feel at home as they've felt here. Um, so we thank you, Jesus, for Nat's ministry uh, and for, for all that we've been able to, to share together over the years. And we pray your continued blessing on her, her family, her household and the ministry that she'll be leading um, as she moves forward. And we pray these things today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for St Hilary's. Thank you, Lord, for the way that you are at work in this community. Thank you for all that you've done over the time that we've been here as a family and I've been part of the staff team. But God, thank you for all that you've done before that. And thank you, Lord, for all that you will do in the future through this community. Lord, I thank you for so many people here who love you with all their hearts and who are living for you in their lives and serving you. And I pray, Lord, that you might continue to be at work in them and in this community. Lord God, please continue to call people to Christ through St Hills. Please continue to nurture them and build them up. And please continue to help and strengthen them to be a light in this world for Jesus. Lord God, I thank you for bringing Adam to this role as the lead minister of St Hilary's. Thank you for the time that we've had to work together. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you've helped him to start really well here. And I pray, Lord, that you might continue to give him wisdom as he leads this community into the future. Father, thank you also for the staff team. Uh, please give them wisdom as they come back to church in person and then kind of relaunch next year. Father, please help them to work really well together as a team. And Father, thank you for all of the volunteers at St Hills. Help them also as they continue to serve in this place. So Father, thank you so much for all that you are doing at St Hilary's now. And Father, I pray for your great blessing and for a, a fabulous future for St Hills uh, in the coming years. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.